It's two years since I've signed my enlistment papers, but I've been back from tech school for a little over a year. Good morning. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Have a nice day. You too, thanks. It's great, I, I love it so far. So you're four, so you're three. I'm sure I'm three. Perimeter track complete, code 10. I want to be a cop in, in the civilian world as well. I'm about halfway through my college right now. I just finished up my first year. Next year I'll be graduating from WITC. We get a lot of training out here as far as weapons. You know, we get trained on the batons, you get trained on takedowns when you're going through security forces technical training. So it's, it's nice because you've already done it once. So you know exactly what to expect. So then when you're doing it for college, then you know, you can help out other people or you know, it'll just make you that much better because then you get that much more training. Sure, the cage is zero target. Fire. Give me that mag. I, I definitely encourage female airmen to, to join. There's so many opportunities that you don't get as a civilian that you'll have for the rest of your life. You meet so many great people from all over the world. I mean, it's just, it's such a wonderful experience. Left arm, left arm. Exercise begin. Down. One. Down. As a female in security forces, you get the stereotypes where Women are, are weaker, they're, they're not as strong, they're more emotional. All right, two-minute recap, go! Your tone has been devastated. A terrorist attacked your city waterfront plant, destroying much of its infrastructure. Your squad has been... There are going to be things that, that set you apart, and I don't think that women should be discouraged. I think that there's, there's definitely challenges. It's not something that anybody can't do as long as you're willing to do it because we're allowed to go downrange. You know, you, you would think that it would be more of a topic, but it's really, it's really not. A little lower. Right now I'm considering after I finish my two degrees to try and do like a four year, consider being an officer. I think an officer in security forces, I think it would be a wonderful opportunity. You know, I have, I have wonderful supervisors and I think I can learn a lot from their leadership abilities and I hope to eventually apply that in the future.